Hi folks, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about what is GIS or Geographic Information Systems. Well, there are several ways to define it. First of all, GIS is part of the geotechnologies. Back in 2004, the U.S. Department of Labor identified three hot fields for the 21st century. Nanotechnologies, biotechnologies, and geotechnologies. GIS, along with GPS, web mapping, and remote sensing, are part of the geotechnologies. Now, what is GIS? GIS is all about solving spatial problems in our world, from local to global scale. What do I mean by spatial problems? I mean any problem that has to do with the where question. Where are the fire hydrants in my community? Where are natural hazards, earthquakes, volcanoes, floods, etc., occurring over space and time? How do they affect communities? What about potential sea level rise and its impact on coastal lands. What about energy, water, migration, etc.? Human health. They all have a where component and hence they can be studied, analyzed, and solved with the use of geographic information systems. Now, GIS is composed of several key ingredients, if you will. Hardware, software, and that software, by the way, is increasingly up in the cloud or on the web. Data, spatial data, maps, satellite images, etc. Also real-time feeds from the Internet of Things. Tools, methods, how do I figure out what the 100 or 500 year floodplain is in my community? So tools and methods. And people, networks of people making a difference, solving problems in a decision-making environment in government, nonprofit, private industry, from local to global. GIS is a key technology for our 21st century world. As we have increased pressure on the environment, as we have increased population, we have to grapple with and deal with and solve these spatial problems, again, from a local to global scale. GIS is all about critical thinking, spatial thinking, and making our world more sustainable, healthier and happier. Thanks.